Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Motor Culture YouTube channel. We have nothing but excitement in store for you today. We are back here at the airstrip with some very, very awesome cars here. And you may have even seen this one behind me in a couple of our past videos. This is a 1000 horsepower track walk. And we've also got going head to head the GTR and the Commodore as well. Now today is looking like two roll drag races, a standstill drag, and then of course, we'll get into a few revs at the end. And maybe even if the owners are feeling up to it, a couple of skids, but we'll go and suss it all out in just a second. But first things first, let's go check out the owners. All right, to kick things off, we're here with Ben, who owns this gorgeous Commodore. Ben, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's just a factory standard supercharged GDS with a loud exhaust. There we go. And uh, of course, we're here with East Coast Customs today, so all the work was done through them. It was, and it's actually a nut and bolt rebuild. It's a four, 403 cubic inch iron block, um, Germaniac inside motor. Yeah. Um, new blower, um, the cooler thing. We're waiting on an inner chiller. Sure and getting some fatter rubber on the back. Excellent. Um, we've built the box a handle 1200 and right now we're pushing about 920 at the treads. Ooh, sounds good. Are you, are you pretty keen to put it to the test? Yeah, yeah. We'll see if we can uh, keep the point straight. And yeah, go for that. We'll see how we go. What, what are your predictions for the day? Um, I reckon the track will go all the way. I've been against him a few times and seen him in action. Oh, come on, mate, have some hope. I'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> all I can do is just send it. That's right, mate. That's what we like to hear. Alrighty, next up on the list, we've got the GTR owned by none other than the man, the myth, the legend, yep. Bentley. That's it. How you doing? Yeah, pretty good. How you feeling? Yeah, uh, feeling winning. Feeling winning? Feeling a winning day today. And why is that? Can you can you walk us through your car? <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's 09 uh, ADM GTR, um, E85, plasi cooler, full exhaust, um, full bolt on pretty much, um, stock engine trans. Um, nice. Had a few run-ins with the track hawk before and uh, everyone always voted for him and I've always come out in front so I think today my, my number might be limited but uh, yeah. We'll see how we go eh? Yep. And uh, you're obviously working with East Coast Customs, can you tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, what your role is there specifically? Yep, uh, so I've been with East Coast uh, about four years now, um, so two years or well, two and a half years as a mechanic and uh, moved into tuning so um, yeah, pretty much tune all like late model cars, OEM software platforms. Excellent. So, uh, yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yep, sure is. Well, Living best of luck to you today. Yep. Sounds like we've got a competition on our hands. Yep. But let's go have a chat with the Trackhawk owner and see what it's all about. Yep. Alrighty, and last but not least, we're here with Kyle, the owner of the famous Trackhawk around these parts of South East Queensland and for very good reason too. Kyle. Can you tell us about the car and what you've done to it? Uh, it's an 18 track walk with a Whipple kit, three litre Whipple. Uh, we put an inner chiller on it just recently. Dedicated E85, full exhaust system, running about 1,037 horsepower at uh, the rears. Is so, that all? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> when we put the shaft back in, it loses a little bit of power, but you know, it'd be up there in the 950s. Mate, it, it sounds like an absolute monster on paper. I'm keen to see it in action. Yeah. How do you feel about uh, your, com your competitors today? Oh, look, I'm not going to call, call out Bentley too much, but, you know, last time I did that, I lost. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm confident, but quietly. All right, let's put it in practice then and see who comes up at the top. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we know a little bit about the owners and about the cars here today. So what better time than to start things off? Who the hell bought that guy? We're gonna start things off with a track walk versus the GTS in a bit of a roll race. So let's get into it. This is what a losing car looks like right here. See this? This is what a losing car looks like. <laughs> Do you want a head start? I'll give you a head start. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You might want to just get down to the finish line. I'll meet you there. <laughs> the thing is, right, East Coast Customs built this car. They did. Yeah. So they very well may have sabotaged you. Oh, I don't think they'll do that. <laughs> they think we'll build. We're on. He's on.
What an absolute awesome experience to be a part of both of these cars in the roll races that we just had. Ben, can you walk us through what happened in both of those and try and defend yourself a little bit? Uh, we, well, we may or may not have got chopped. Um, <laughs> yeah, we just can't get traction. Yeah, it's I, just I know. Like it's ice skates on the back. It's a lot of fun though, right? It is. I kind of like it that way. I don't think you should upgrade those tyres. No, we might just get some more and keep them just for burnout ones. Yeah, well, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that. And Kyle, obviously the track wall is an absolute beast. Yeah. Walk us through what happened. I know that you weren't trying your hardest, said. Look, oh, I really wasn't trying that hard. <laughs> it, it's the street tune, <clears throat> maybe. We'll keep that uh, on the download. We'll keep that on the download. You know, it's only making about 300 horsepower at the moment, so, you know. <laughs> I, I just, you know, didn't want to embarrass him too much. So we still got a lot more in the tank. You're saving it for Bentley in the GTI? Oh, 100%. It's it's all for Bentley. Like, I'm turning it right up for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I reckon let's go kick it with some actual drag racing from a standstill and see how we go. I hope they know that we're not a, a drift show. Do I let him do a power skid? There you go. certainly a lot of fun but if I do say so myself Kyle looked like he had a lot of fun out there with the GTS tree almost like a bit of a Barbie doll so let's step it up a notch we're gonna go the GTR versus the track or boys how we doing how we feeling I heard there's some uh, unfinished business yeah so uh, I'm pretty undefeated racing Kyle but um, I think he's turned it again. <laughs> I've, I've turned it up for him a little bit since then so um, I am a little bit nervous so Ooh, yeah. sounds spicy how you feeling well, I'm nervous because Bentley actually tuned my car. Oh. So I don't know if there's any sabotage happening here or not, but we'll see <laughs> on that. It may not be intentional. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm saying is if the track walk loses, I don't want to be hearing that excuse. Yeah, look, it, we will just say, look, it was a bad day. You know. <laughs> We've already heard him say it. It is turned all the way up, so there's, there's going to be no excuses it, there. It is turned up from Bentley's tune, so yeah, it's, we'll see on that. Right. That tune might be a turn down. <laughs> But uh, before we get into things, if we were to s describe our competitors' cars here, what would you say? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm racing a giant brick. <laughs> um, I'm racing Big Tasty over here. Yes. <laughs> so. And uh, what, what would you say about his modifications? I heard you say uh, a couple of things before, Bentley. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, we've got his lovely uh, donkey dick. Uh, his ice box. Uh, what else we got? We got a Whipple supercharger. Whipple supercharger. Um, but yeah, I heard it's a stock motor, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. You got anything to come back there, Kyle? The GDR. Oh, it might need some tissues, you know, for sneezing, and and it's, it is a Datsun. So mm. we're pulling out the old Datsun card. Yeah, <laughs> and it's an old Datsun too, so it's not one of those new cool ones. Yeah. Ouch. I see how it is. <laughs> well, that's enough trash I can, talk. I can, I can talk it, but I can't cop it. <laughs> that's enough trash talk, boys. I reckon let's settle this uh, on the strip. So, Bentley, you've been waiting for this day. Yep. To prove that the GTR is better than the track or. Well, hopefully we'll find that out. I'm sure we will. Yep. <laughs> you ready to lose? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Good luck. I'm just going to wind this up so we can hear. Let's get into it. I know I raved on Bento about, you know, probably sabotaging my tune, but he's a good tuner, he's, he's, he's made this thing fast, he so has. He, has. He, he deserves a win in that part of it, <laughs> and I think that's all I'm going to give him though. I mean, fair enough, fair enough, yeah. we're going to go for it again? Yeah, we'll go for one more run. I don't think the track ball is getting deep road today. I think they're giving you a head start. Okay. I'll take it, I'll jump him. <laughs> 
Absolute matchup. Bentley, do you want to start by telling me what on earth happened here? I lost. I bloody lost. <laughs> I done did it. I, uh, yeah, not enough power. He's been avoiding Simple it for case a very long time. Not enough power. <laughs> not I'll, enough. I'll just claim the credit though. I did too good a job at tuning his car. So. There you go. I would take that as yeah. a victory for and a sure. a terrible job at tuning mine. <laughs> Look, I did say that. You'll probably see some in-cab footage. I did say, you know, Bentley does deserve a win on that part. He did tune it. He's done a good job. So, you know, not really shit talk, you know, but... That's the only win I'm giving him from now on. He wouldn't race me forever. Respectable, very yeah. respectable. And uh, congratulations to uh, Kyle for another win in the books. But track, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think we still have one more to go, so let's go and yeah. Uh, yeah, dig road, dig road, dig. see if we can go three from three. Yeah. See if we can break some. Right. <laughs> let's do it. Roll races are done. You are victorious, and uh, we're, we're going ahead. Time for the drags now, so yeah, give it a go. Confident? Yeah. We're going. We're going to win. Well, 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 what a day of racing, but I think we have a very clear, undisputed champion, Kyle with the track hawk. Yeah. Do you have any words for the other guys here today? Oh. I think it was an unfair advantage for Ben. Bentley, I just don't care. Like he's he's slow, <laughs> but you know, he's uh, Ben's having dramas with hooking up. Yeah. Bentley, he's got all four as well. He I tried to cheat in our race. He Twice. still lost. Back to back too. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> still lost. <laughs> still lost. So yeah, no. So, you got anything to say about that, Bentley? I'll be back bigger and better with a different car. Can I get that again in uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger accent, please? I'll be back. Excellent. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and Ben, did you have anything to add on to that? Yeah, more rubber. More rubber? More rubber and an inner shell. Sounds like a plan. So I and take I it, yeah. I, I take it then we'll probably see you all back here for, for, sure. yeah. for another showdown. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, again, Kyle, Congratulations to you. The track hawk is uh, notorious once again on the airstrip and on the drag strip at our track days. Make sure you come to the Lakeside Track Day. That's probably coming up very soon to go and check out all the action because you come down quite regularly, don't you? Yeah, yeah I come out of those ones regularly, so it's always a good event. So there you go. Good fun. There you go, but I think it's time to have a little bit of fun. Let's make these cars get loud and maybe we'll have a little bit of a surprise for you at the end. Wait and see. Do we need to give them a had a bit of a rev off but now it's time to have some fun baby guys what an absolute epic day that was i think it's pretty clear to say that the track hawk is the champion of the day and smash the gts and the gtr so maybe next time they'll give it a better run for its money but this thing is an absolute beast and for good reason too. It's got over a thousand horsepower and has just had an insane build. So much to the point that even here at Motoculture Australia, we're considering building one ourselves. So let us know down in the comments if we should build a track walk as crazy as this one. And don't forget to like and subscribe this video because we have more epic content on its way very, very soon. See you next time.